Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we're doing a glam hair and a glam makeup look today. This video is really kindly sponsored by Beauty Works. I'm gonna be using their clip-in extensions and their styling tool to create the hair look, which I am very happy about because I'm a huge fan of the brand. So yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it because it's gonna be a long video. I've obviously prepped my skin using my usual skincare routine. So for a glam look, we want that real flawless base. I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional just in the areas that I have open pores. So here, here and here. And this basically just completely removes the appearance of open pores and it takes two seconds and gives that overall really smooth canvas. Then I'm going in with the second primer. This is the Sculpted by Amy Beauty Base in Golden Glow. And this has hyaluronic acid and SPF 30 in it. So, so you get a lot of benefits from using just the one product. And I'm basically applying this everywhere else on my face. I'm trying to stay away, even though I just applied it there, from the areas that I applied um, the first kind of primer, just because I don't want to dislodge that too much. And you can see the glow that that gives. Like it's insane such a fab product really nice for no makeup days as well if you want your skin to have a bit of freshness so next what other foundation would i use for a glam look it's the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation this is the shade 7.5 neutral half a pump for me is enough and i like full coverage so that says a lot about this and this once you apply it stays put until you take it back off it's incredible so that is the foundation applied although it's a full coverage foundation because you need such a small amount to get the full coverage you can still see the glow underneath from the primer that we used so it's not really cakey on the skin while still in, while still giving good coverage so if you're looking for one foundation in your kit or in your collection a full coverage like that that you can just use a quarter of a pump mixed in with a nice glowy primer or base or skincare product to get a really light coverage dewy effect you can do that or you can use it by itself to get the full coverage. So you're basically getting two foundations in one. Next up, concealer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 145. This is the Pro Filter Concealer. And I always use a lighter concealer just to give that brightness to the face. We're just gonna pretend that this is not here. I have ordered two beauty, beauty blenders and I'm waiting for them to arrive. And they did not arrive before filming this. So I have never, ever let my beauty blender get this bad. I usually have about like three on backup. So I don't even know how I managed to be in this situation. Okay, so that is the concealer all blended in. And to set the concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm gonna have to use the same side as on my beauty blender because there's only one side intact. And I always set under my eyes first. I am gonna bake a bit today because we're going for a full glam, so why wouldn't we? You can see the difference. Like it just basically like airbrushes under your eye. It's incredible. So what I'm doing is setting the center of my face with this powder and the beauty blender. And then I'll just really lightly dust the powder over the rest of my face. You can skip the second step of setting the rest of your face if you prefer like that kind of dewy look or cream products. So I'm just using a large brush to set the rest of my face and using whatever's in the lid. So not that much at all. Okay, so moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna mix my two Dior bronzers. This is 4N, this is 5N, like so. And I'm gonna start bronzing my face. But they are honestly the nicest bronzers ever. They apply so nicely, like such a small amount goes a long way and you can build it up to the effect that you want. So again, like although I have a lot of coverage on my face right now and a lot of powder and stuff, it doesn't look heavy. For me anyway, I personally don't think it looks heavy. And then I've mentioned before, just for my hairline, I'm gonna take the, the lighter bronzer with a small little eyeshadow brush and just kind of push that into my hairline, especially because I just got my highlights done. So I need to blend it without like staining blonde hair. Okay, for blush, shock, surprise, I'm using the Dior 001 pink blush. And I just kind of apply this like on the kind of tops and outer portion of my cheekbones and then a little bit on my nose and then up on my forehead just to kind of make the whole look, um, you know, work. For highlighter, I'm using the MAC. I don't know if you can hear that child screaming. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Gold Deposit um, Highlighter from MAC. This honestly is insane. I think I might have went a little bit too heavy or maybe it just looks like because I have no eye makeup on, but obsessed with it. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. I'm using a clear brow gel. This one is just from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna brush them up. I did just like shape them and tint them myself recently. So 
they're not actually looking too bad okay so for the eyes i'm gonna start with bobby brown um eyeshadow and camel and i'm applying this just into my crease back and forth with a really large fluffy brush and letting it kind of blend out as i go go so i'm blending it up and i like to bring it into this little corner in here as well and almost kind of like connect it to my eyebrow but not fully so that's the eyeshadow applied first and i blend it out lots so then i'm going to use a more precise blending brush so it's just not as fluffy and apply the same product more precisely just into the crease so although we're using the same color it looks like it's a darker color in the crease because it's more concentrated and then it blends out to the kind of more diffused and um, softer color then using whatever's left on the brush i'm going to run that underneath my eyes because we need to actually i'm going to pick up a bit more we need to create um, a bit of definition underneath here I don't want it too heavy under my eyes, just enough so it doesn't look like completely lost. Then for the eyelids, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon in Copper Lights. This is such a stunning warm goldy bronze eyeshadow. And honestly, it's so easy to just apply. And then I'm just using another fluffy brush just to blend that out, but I'm not blending it past the crease. So not blending it past the first colour that we applied. So that is that eyeshadow look on there. And then what I like to do also is to just push a dark matte brown along my eye line here, or eyelash line here. Especially if you have fair lashes, this will stop that kind of like contrast between the eyeshadow and then like the kind of blondness of your lashes. So it just helps everything look a bit more seamless. Next, always, always, always curling the lashes. Jeez, I think I nearly took my eye out there. Okay, out. And then I'm applying a dark brown eyeliner. This is the Sarah Curie Perfect Form Eyeliner in the shade... Oh, I'm not sure, but it's the brown eyeliner. And I just apply it to my upper waterline because it gives the definition to your upper waterline, which makes your eyelashes look thicker, but it also lifts the eyes if you just apply it to your upper waterline and keeping the lower waterline really soft and minimal. It just kind of creates that like more brightened look underneath and then lifted look on top. Okay, sorry, my memory card ran out of space there. I was saying I'm applying my MAC mascara. and um, This is the only one that does not mark or like leave that kind of mark on my um, eyelid. And honestly, the difference that mascara makes is crazy every time. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Which brow pencil is this? This is the Clinique Quick Liner for Brows in the shade 03 Soft Brown. And I'm literally just looking where there's gaps and really, really lightly filling in the gaps. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like fully concentrating instead of speaking. And kind of brushing through as I apply it just to make sure that um, I'm not over applying. So that's my brows done and I just brush through with a tiny bit more of the clear brow gel just to make sure that they're set in place for the day because when you apply that uh, pencil after sometimes it kind of like moves them around and gets rid of some of the is my tan a bit dodge um clear brow gel that we applied at the start so like up close and personal you can see how good like I cannot see a pore on my face right now and I swear it's that poor professional like Guys, there's no filter on this camera or anything. I'm just using one little light here and a light here and I'm sitting in front of a window with the blind half down. So like, honestly, insane. The combo of those two primers and that foundation is honestly unbeaten. And for my lipstick, I'm using Honey Love from MAC. Honestly, one of my favorites again. I love it. It's just, you know when you find something that you're just happy with, you just don't move from it. And then I'm using Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And I've been applying my lip liner after my lipstick because it actually applies smoother, especially with the Charlotte Tilbury ones because sometimes they're kind of thick. So it applies smoother and less intense slash kind of cakey. And I'm kind of just focusing on overdrawing this part here, the center of my top lip and the center of my, I actually don't even overdraw my bottom lip, so I just overdraw the center of my top. So lips are done. And then I'm just gonna go in and fix up any of the mascara that got on my eyelids while I was doing them because it should be set now and it brushes off so much easier once it's been set and then to set all of that in place i'm using the urban decay all nighter and a lot of it okay so moving on to the hair i'm going to clip in my extensions the ones i'm using are the beauty works 18 inch double hair set in the shade scandinavian blonde you can see these have like a nice root to them honestly such good hair extensions this is a fresh set so you can see they're actually much shinier than my own hair i'm gonna leave all the details of everything i'm using down below so you can check out the description box if you missed anything and these at the moment are probably a little bit ashier and brighter than my own hair but once they're in they kind of blend in and it's fine but 
they don't look exactly perfect just ignore so i always section my hair and then clip them in bit by bit so i'm gonna apply all of these in and then i'll come back and style okay so that is the full set clipped in guys i actually rarely clip in a full set anymore unless i'm like unless it's for an event and i forgot when you clip in a full set like the amount of hair and like just how glam it is you can actually see some of them have a little bit of style from the last time i wore them that's the thing about extensions if you're using them for an event they hold the style so well that your hair stays in place a little bit better for the day and also if you have thicker hair or short hair that's really blunt at the ends you can actually tie up the bottom section of your hair um, so you don't have that really obvious kind of line where your hair ends and where the extensions are because then it just makes them look very obvious. Just basically like plait and then tie up or pin up the little bottom section of your hair and it should help blend them. And also if you have thin hair and you're applying the clips, I always recommend back combing because it helps um, keep them in place. My hair is a little bit thicker and a little bit drier so I actually don't even need to back comb them and they stay in perfect for me. Okay next to style I'm using the Beauty Works Hair Waver. These honestly style your hair so quickly and effortlessly like if you're in a rush and want your hair to be done these take like 10 minutes for a full hair like this and it looks so good. And in this case you obviously get the protective case, you get this other little protective bit here that you can apply down on a surface alongside a heat um, resistant mat as well for resting the waver on. And while that's heating up I'm just going to basically section off my hair really really roughly because this is a wavy look, you don't need to be too perfect with it because the kind of messier the better kind of like lends to the hair look. And honestly this tool could not be easier to use. You can see it here, it will, it will actually display the temperature so you know when it's reached its full temp. Why did I just say temp? I don't even know. So with the bits that I have down, I'm going to kind of subsection them. I'm just going to use little hair clips like this to section as I go. So I'm going to take sections about this thick. I'm actually taking them a little bit thicker than usual because I want this to be really like loose and relaxed. So you basically just clamp it down. Like it's very, very simple. I'm just gonna show you in case you've never used one. So I hold it down for a few seconds and then I move in to wherever the last one was. I start the first one in that section and just keep going with that. So if you take smaller sections, you're gonna get tighter waves and if you take larger sections, you're obviously gonna get looser waves. So I'm kind of taking medium sized sections and the longer you hold it in, the more intense the style will be and the longer it will last. So you can just kind of like adjust all of those little techniques depending on the finished look that you want. And guys, honestly, like this of all my styling tools is the quickest of all of them. So if you're in a time crunch and you need to have your hair looking put together, the waiver tool is the go-to. You can see that so far. So I'm basically just gonna repeat this all over my head because it's the same technique. You don't really need to change it up like you do with the curlers. So I'm gonna finish off my hair and then I'll come back when I'm doing the front pieces because I know they're the kind of sections that most people have like questions about or wanna see specifically how to kind of do them. So I'll come back. Okay, this is the last piece for um, the very front pieces. I just wanna show you how quick this actually is because it probably took me like four minutes there to do my whole head, I swear to God. I'm actually not gonna cut this so you can see. It's so quick. And it's kind of like user friendly in the sense that like if you don't clamp it exactly where the last bit was, it doesn't really matter too much. It kind of lends to the look, which is like really undone and like effortless. For the front pieces, I did section them out. So what I like to do with this is I kind of angle it like this instead of doing it straight on. And I just keep it in for a very, very short time. So again, angled and then just really, really lightly pressing the hair. And guys, this is the finished hair and makeup look. I honestly, every time I wave my hair, I'm like, I need to do it more often because it just, I don't know what it is. It's just so different. It's so fun, but still glam. Like, it gives you kind of Carrie Bradshaw vibes, you know, where you could just wear a dress with it and you're dressed up, or you could wear like a really cool day outfit and it still looks like appropriate. I love it. And it's honestly so quick and easy that I'm like, I need to do this more. But yeah, that is the finished hair and makeup look. Thank you so much again to Beauty Works for sponsoring this video. And I do have a discount code, which I will leave down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, I am really obsessed and I'm kind of upset that I have nowhere to go today. I'm just gonna go on the couch and edit this, but 
I'm sure I'll take enough selfies, it'll be fine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out. It just helps other people see the video, kind of pushes out the reach of it. And if you're not already, you can subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with any new videos. And yeah, if you have any other video suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like looking at myself constantly in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I just love this look. But anyway, guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.